Welcome back. We're here in the interview area with world number eight, Patrick Reed, who also won the Farmers Insurance Open here earlier this year. Patrick, what are you seeing from the course so far that was different from when you were raising a trophy here just a few months ago? I think the biggest thing is, just, is playing firmer and faster, obviously, uh, with a different time of year. And, uh, you know, it's, with it being warmer, the ball's traveling a little farther. But besides that, it, it's still Torrey Pines. It, it's still brutal if you miss a fairway, brutal if you miss a green. And, uh, you know, you, ha you have to make putts early in the day because as, as the days go on, the, the greens get a little bit bumpier with the Poe and, uh, you know, just make everything just a little bit tougher. What's different about a U.S. Open week compared to even other majors? I think the biggest thing is just the grind. The grind the golf courses uh, kind of show as well as you don't see conditions like this. You know, whether it's firm or fast, it doesn't it doesn't matter. The rough's so thick and so penalizing that if you that if you hit into it, it's it's one of those you you sit and realize, do I chip out or do I try to get up close to the green? And I think that's the biggest thing is with fairways being, fairways being more narrow and having the rough so thick that it's now a more positional type game rather than just set up, set up and hammer driver everywhere. Right here on the right. Uh, Patrick, what, are you, what is your opinion on having a venue that's a regular tour stop and then also a major championship venue? Are you a fan of that? And what are the pluses and minuses? Yeah, you know, I, I actually, it doesn't bother me. Uh, this golf course is a very tough golf course. It's a golf course that you can play a regular event at or you can hold a major championship at. And there's not a lot of golf courses that are like that. And Torrey, it speaks for itself. You get to this place, especially when we play it during you know, the farmers, it, it's a lot colder. It's basically wet, it seems like, every day. And it, this time of year when we're holding the US Open, with it being firmer, faster, it plays differently. You know, mm -hmm. Different times of years, the golf course is either gonna be played on the ground or in the air. And, and you know, you're gonna see two different types of golf courses this time of year than you are that time of year key holes for you out here that you, you would point to if you were saying, I understand the U.S. Open all 18 holes are pretty pretty pivotal, pivotal, but is there any couple holes that maybe you would pick out that you would say are keys? Uh, I think for me, the biggest ones are really the starting holes. One, one in 10, depending on what day you start on or which side, because at any golf tournament, it's all about momentum. And I feel like at U.S. Open, that is huge and is, you know, is basically pivotal through how you're going to start a tournament and how you're going to play is how you get off to a start because the last thing you want to do is, is start behind the eight ball by going and making a bogey right off the bat so for me when when I start not, when I start on hole one it, it's going to be that first hole and, and even the second hole and you know, when I start on 10 it's going to be 10 and 11 because you want to get yourself off to, to a good start and it doesn't mean you have to make birdies but it just you know hit, hit a fairway hit a green and, and give yourself a look and just kind of ease yourself into the tournament and ease yourself into each round. I'm going to take one from the WebEx. After lapping the field at the Farmers, how are you attacking the U.S. Open setup differently? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is have to stay aggressive. Um, and it's not as much being aggressive off the tee as it is more on the second shot. Uh, you know, get yourself actually conserved off the tee, get yourself in the fairway, and then from there, allow my irons to attack. And, you know, because of that, if I need to use a short game, it's fine. But, uh, you know, it, this is one of those golf courses that, especially how they have it set up right now, off the rough, off the fairways, I've actually found it to be okay. It's not that, not too bad. I mean, yes, you're going to get some bad lies here and there, but really it's more judging flyers. But around the greens, brutal. So you have to make sure you attack and uh, hit the greens or, worst case scenario, leave it in a bunker. Can you talk a little bit about your preparation this week and how you're feeling your game is? Uh, preparation has gone amazing. Uh, my team and I, we've worked pretty hard on, on leading into this week where now I feel really comfortable while I'm here just to kind of stay loose, play some golf and you know really just kind of you know, see how the golf course is changing day by day but uh, you know we feel good golf feels golf game feels really solid and really it's now just kind of maintain the energy level and get ready for tournament time. I'm um, another one from the Webex how brutal is the rough around the greens and are there any examples from your practice rounds? It's uh it's nasty um yeah I, mean, I had one today actually on the last hole I played up on hole nine I'd through two balls and they landed just about in the same spot. One hopped into the rough and, and one of them kind of got in the Kakuya and sat up because it's so thick. It actually sat high where I felt like I'd almost hit driver off of it. And the other one was maybe three feet from it and sank to the bottom. Now I could advance the one that sank to the bottom maybe. I mean, I was going short side, but I mean, I advanced it maybe six inches in front of me. 
So it's uh, it's nasty. I've seen some guys go underneath some golf balls this week already, and you know, knowing how the golf course is going to be set up, they're just going to let it go. The rough's going to at this point now. It's just going to keep on growing, and keep on getting longer and longer. So uh, you, it's going to be it's going to be a, a true test around the greens, but it's going to be a fun test. Thank you, Patrick. Good luck this week. Thank you.